Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, thanks for watching. Today I have Bath and Body Works empties to show you. So, um, I have to make this video pretty quick so I won't be able to elaborate a ton on things, but I did use up what you see in front of you here. So let's just start with candles. Um, pumpkin carving I used in the fall. I burned it down about there before it started smelling smoky and then put it on my warmer. It smelled good. It was light. It didn't smell as great as I remember pumpkin carving smelling very similar, but just, I don't know. It just, it was okay. I think it was because it smelled smoky that I wasn't really into it, but there's that. Autumn Adventure, I really liked. Um, this was like a fresh, clean, masculine scent that smelled like the outdoor air in the fall. I really liked it. Um, I would get this again, and it burned really well. I don't know if it has the wrap around it. You can't see, but I did burn it down to the bottom. I think it went out on its own. Hi, boo-boo. Here's my cat here, as always. So there's that, and then I have a blueberry maple pancakes so that you can see I didn't burn very well, or very much at all. EB, come on, buddy. No. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, it smelled too smoky and the wicks were insane on this. So I, I was like, no, I'm not going to burn it. Oh, great. Now he's coming on my lap. EB, you can't sit on my lap. I need to move around. No, I'm sorry, buddy. Stop, please. Let me get this done, bud. Come on. He won't let me do anything. Anything that's on the ground, like organizing papers or whatever. Oh, he doesn't let me do it. It's like he wants to just have me sit there with him on my lap all the time. Like, in the most awkward position, I'm not just going to hang out on the floor. Um, anyway, I put it in my on my uh, candle warmer instead, and it lived out its life there. I just, I wasn't going to deal with this soot. I don't want this soot on my, um, on my walls. I don't want to breathe it in. I don't want it in my furnace filters. No, thanks. Okay, so then I have a warm caramel cider, which is older and nostalgic. It smells just like Cider Lane. Um... This one burned really well. It also had huge uh, mushroom tops, but I, you know, it was burning so well and like not really sooting that I decided I was going to continue burning it. So I just would put it out, trim the wicks and start over again and I'd trim them really small and it did really well. I don't know why that's blurry. What is going on here? Okay, that was really weird. Um... <clears throat> so anyway, it was super strong, great throw, loved it. I mean, this is just like a tried and true scent. Cider Lane is known to be like the killer scent, um, especially in vendor wax. If it's mixed with anything, it's always the strongest scent that you smell. This did great. I would buy it again, but they're not. They're probably not coming out with this again unless they want to switch it up and name it warm caramel cider again. But it's essentially Cider Lane, which is your caramel apple type scent. Uh, a couple of random things they have is a black cherry merlot hand cream. I love the scent, but those hand creams are not super moisturizing. I used up this rose salve, which I do love, love, love. They've repackaged it and changed the name kind of, and it looks a little different, but it's like the same thing. I looked at the ingredients to make sure I, bu I bought one in store. I use this for my lips mostly, but I will use it on my hands when they're cracked, but I put it on my lips every night. It is the ultimate life saver or lip saver, I should say for me. For soaps, I have two Don't Stop Beliefings. This is the Orange Vanilla Swirl. I do like that scent. I love the foaming hand soaps. They're, all their soaps are drying, even the gentle gel ones because they don't really tend to lather as well. But they all have fragrance in them, so they're going to be fragrance, alcohol, all that stuff that dries out your hands. You basically choose to deal with it or not. I choose to deal with it and just try and keep my hands moisturized. They're always dry anyway. You can probably see how red my wrist is from... Uh, how much I wash my hands at work, they stay really dry throughout the entire winter. There's nothing I can do about it. I have to wash my hands before I see patients. So, um, anyway, I like that orange vanilla swirl. Snowy Mountain, Snowy Alpine Mountain was an awesome scent. It was like a men's cologne type scent, but not super cologne, more like your fresh outdoor air that has a masculine tone to it. Loved it. I would get it again. I need to like take a mental note of that name so I remember to buy it next time. Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin is always a good one. Um, I like that a lot. Candy Corn Treats is that lavender, like, la how is it, like marshmallow flurries or it kind of smells like marshmallow fireside. It gives you that vibe if you know what that scent smells like. 
I really liked it. I love that packaging with that little witch in the moon. It's just like simple but Halloween-ish. And I was going to say Halloween-y, but that sounds, <laughs> sounds funny. Um, so I'm a big fan of that. And then down here I have iced cinnamon rolls, which I have a couple of. And I really liked that one. Um, I'm glad I have more of that. I enjoy that one. That is supposed to have like an orange tone. I can't remember if I noticed that or not. I think I did. I think it smells like orange rolls, like the orange cinnamon rolls. Um, I'm a fan. E.B., stop. Stop doing it. Stop it. Uh, he's poking his little nose into my hand like he wants me to pet him. So I'm trying to pet his face while I'm talking to you guys. Don't bite me. Crisp morning air. Always a good scent. Fresh fall crisp ozonic air sense you can't really go wrong with it it smells awesome some people would say it's more masculine i think it's pretty neutral uh that's it for soaps body care i used up this duo of the autumn nights i'd been hanging on to it for a while thinking i was really gonna love it i finally was like i need to treat myself and use the scent i really like well i actually didn't like that at all i thought it was gonna smell like vanilla sandalwood and it just didn't what are the notes on it Toasted tonka bean, warm amber, vanilla orchid. I don't know what it was. It just, it, I didn't love it. And I liked one of them more than the other. I think I like the shower gel, but not really the lotion or vice versa. I want to say I like the shower gel. Um, but I just, I didn't love it very much. Black cherry merlot. This was the um, moisturizing body wash with the body cream. I like that formula. It was nice. It doesn't lather, I think, as much as the regular shower gels do. Um, but it was nice. I mean, it felt like it was probably more moisturizing than the other uh, shower gels. Um, and I love that black cherry Merlot scent. It doesn't smell exactly like the hand cream, but it's a very similar. Or the soap, which the hand cream and the soap smell very similar. They're, um, it's probably hard to translate that into a shower gel. I feel like the lotion smelled like the lotion. Twisted Peppermint Body Cream, I tend to always use in the winter. I can't remember what I used that with. I used it, like, when I was finishing up something else. Actually, no, it was a non-Bath & Body Works um, shower gel that I had that my dad gave me. Ow, Bernard, don't do that. Don't. Don't. He's trying to bite me. Stop it. And then Dream in the Sky which is lavender clouds. And this is the sugar lavender honey butter with vanilla. I love that. I hope they bring it back. I don't know if they'll bring it back in that same name, but if they can bring it back under a different name or whatever, I would be happy to have that one again. Um, it smelled really nice. It was like your sweet lavender soothing one. I think I'm using another, like my last one of it right now, only because I want to use it before it goes bad. I know I've, I've had them for a couple years now. And I really need to get up, Bernardi. So, oh, that was just me. That was the closet. He just got spooked because I, I bumped the closet. Okay, I'm coming over to this side so we can talk about wallflower bulbs. I'm like crawling my way over the floor. So I have two of the Harvest Gathering, which is a really nice scent. It didn't last a very long time. Most of them start out really well like the first week and then they die off slowly until they're all done. You can occasionally get a whiff when you walk by, but it's not something that consistently scents your room. So um, if you're planning on purchasing those for that reason, don't. <laughs> the only one that lasted from beginning to end was the Snowy Mountain Lodge that I had in my small guest bathroom with the door closed. And it, I mean, it, it, went continuously even after they were like dry and done it, you could still smell it as long as it was plugged in it was going um I'm not a huge fan of that scent I don't even know how to explain it harvest gathering is your classic like mix of fall scents and spices and um without being too spicy it's just a really nice like fall scent snow mountain lodge was definitely your spicier cinnamon clove fireside log cabin type scent very rich in that aspect and um it's not a I'm not a huge fan of it that's why I put it in the guest bathroom with the door closed definitely would like overpower any other smells of the bathroom <laughs> so if you're looking for one that's gonna cover or mask scents that's a good one uh berry waffle cone only did well like the first day or two which was really sad and then it died off I was that one when I had high hopes for and it was disappointing the perfect Christmas smelled pretty good um 
I don't know if I'll buy it again unless I can get like a really good deal on it. It's fresh cut pine, cinnamon, sugar, toasted marshmallow. I don't know if I'd say that those are the, uh, those are the notes I would describe. It's kind of like your cinnamon pine scent. I don't know if there was like a heavy, it was very minimal cinnamon if there was cinnamon in it actually. And then warm apple pie, which smelled great. Um, one of them did fairly well the whole time and then the other